Hello, good evening. How, how are you doing? Uh-oh. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Hi, there, there we go. That's a little bit better. So that we can't see down here. Get my camera. This is what happens when you're the camera girl. How are you doing today? I am doing fine. My name is Stephanie Ann Hare, and I am here live today cooking with you with Stephanie Ann Hare, Girls Gone Vegan with Stephanie Hare. Welcome to the special edition of New Year's Eve evening. Uh, yesterday I had my grandson here at my usual time, and so I took... Uh, I took a family day and decided not to do my show live, but I decided I would go live today since it's New Year's Eve, it's kind of a fun time. So I thought I would really get going here and send out the new year with something really great. Hey Frank, how are you doing? If you're watching this live, please put in the comments where you're watching from and how are you feeling tonight? How are you feeling at the end of 2019? If you don't know me, I am an empowerment mindset coach at Planet Gratitude Clarity Coaching in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I empower people to be the best version of themselves at any age. And so part of that, of being your best self, is to really take care of yourself and learn how to eat really good food. This is vegan cooking, but I tell you, you don't have to eat vegan every second. This is just teaching you how to cook with vegetables so that you can switch up some meals, add more vegetables to your life and more nutrition, and add uh, maybe a few years to your life. So I'm making a fajita salad, which is a really delicious dish. And uh, it is going to have some, all the traditional things that fajitas have. It's gonna have some great bell peppers in there, some red onion, and some mushrooms, and some cilantro. And uh, it's gonna be on a bed of super greens with some uh, organic pintos and, um, some homemade salsa and then some homemade chips so right now I've got my pans going here and I'm using some coconut oil and that is what I'm gonna cook some fresh chips and saute the vegetables so first of all I'm gonna kind of get this coconut oil going for the chips over here I have taken two cans of organic Pintos, this is a very fast way to do it. Just buy some really good organic pinto beans. I've rinsed them off and I'm going to get them heated up. So we will just put that on a medium low. I'm going to take several spoons of my coconut oil for my chips, for my homemade chips. It's going to give them a kind of unique flavor to be cooked in a coconut oil, but that's okay. And I've got some other coconut oil heating over here for the sauteed vegetables. So let's go ahead and start chopping up the veggies here. And I'm going to cut them in strips. I'm gonna start with a, a nice bell pepper and just cut it, you know, when you have fajitas, everything's cut into nice long strips. So I hope you have reflected on this beautiful year 2019. And I hope you've looked at all the good things, of course, as well as the bad. And the fact, if you're still here and you're coming out alive, you're doing wonderful. And hopefully you're gonna take all the good things that you've done and accomplished and all those beautiful memories and you're gonna bring them forward into the next decade, into 2020. And you can build on it and instead of start, starting fresh, you can just go ahead and bring this stuff with you and add it and then add on to it for 2020. And you're not really starting from zero because you've done a lot of great things, I'm sure, during this year. So think about it and be proud of yourself for all the great things that you have accomplished this year. Because it is not easy, life is not easy. You have to work, you have to you know, create a life where a lot of us are entrepreneurs and you're doing things on the side. Got a beautiful red bell pepper here. So give yourself a big pat on the back, give yourself a humongous hug. Go treat yourself to dinner, go buy yourself something you like, go take yourself for a massage, do something really wonderful for yourself because it isn't easy to get through life. 
it is not easy. And I don't know about you, but I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, and we have lots of homeless all over the place, people that have had things happen and just thrown them for a loop, and they can't, they can't participate in life anymore, and they, they get stuck, and it's really hard. So if you are doing it, you're keeping a roof over your head, and you're keeping food on the table, and you're taking care of your family, that's so wonderful. So give yourself a really great, that a good girl. You did good. You did good. Give yourself a good pat on the back. So now I have cut my red onion in half, and I'm cutting it into big strips. Everything we want to be kind of long, big strips. Because everything's going to be kind of big. So go ahead. And then we're going to break it up in here. So I love fajita salad. It's really great. And you can have tortillas on the side. You can have some chips on the side. We're going to do chips. And uh, we might even have a few tortillas on the side, too. But I'm going to make some homemade chips and show you how easy it is to make your own delicious chips. So that's going to be fun. I never feel too bad about eating tortilla chips if they're good and organic. Of course, if you can get baked ones, it's better, but then sometimes they don't seem real. But, you know, if you're getting uh, the good organic non-GMO, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. So now let's just give this stir. So we've got our bell peppers and our onions. That is the key ingredient. We've got our beans going over here, heating them up. And we've got our chip oil going over here. And it's already nice and hot. So now I'm going to take some tortillas and cut them in half first. And then take, take the next part and just cut it into small triangles. And you can do a big stack at a time. And we're just going to go ahead. I'm not using tons of oil, so it's we're not totally deep frying them. So you can just layer a small amount in the pan and do them little in little small batches. It's fine. And then we're going to get some paper towels and lay them out to get any of the excess oil. I don't know about you, but Mexican food is one of my favorite foods. I can eat it several times a week, no problem at all. And I find it delicious and there's, it's really very healthy if you cook uh, without fat and um, don't add lard like the olden days they used to add lard. And some of the traditional people still do. But if you do, don't do that and you use, uh, you know, whole beans and where there's no added fat and you use good oils, Mexican food can be very good for you. So it's not a bad thing to have. So let me grab my cheese cheese. Frank, would you do me a favor? What? Will you get my sparkling, my sparkling grape cheese out? I feel like having a little sparkling Marta Martinelli's apple grape juice. Woo! A little cele celebration here. <sighs> no. Frank is my. Um, my uh, production assistant, he helps me to put together Ooh, my show. Ooh, it's in like champagne bottles. He's my time coordinator. Frank, come around here. I'm going to You're going to introduce you. me? Introduce you to my... My hair. Oh, his hair is so <laughs> cute. So this is Frank. This is Frank Lim. This Hi, is my boyfriend, and he's the production assistant and time coordinator here at Girls Gone Vegan with Stephanie Hair. That means I start the stopwatch on my, on my iPhone. <laughs> That's what that means. That's a very important part, Frank. Very important. So listen, oh, yeah. we're going to pop this open. We're going to give a little toasty, roasty. Because this is New Year's Eve. It's so exciting. Get a little closer, Frank. You're okay. not in the picture. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, this is a beautiful. It's just Look, like it's a real. Like it's champagne. just like a real champagne in here. I didn't so need a bottle. Twisty over. and a cork. Oh, good. Hopefully, uh -uh. I can help it. Oh, watch. Yeah. Come here. No, I'm not going to do. Eyeball. I'm a professional, Frank. <laughs> I put my hand over. Always put your hand over when you open a champagne. And here you twist it. Oh, oh, look, and it's not even spewing out. Yeah, no, look at oh, that. Oh, man. Beautiful. You didn't lose any. This Ooh, is look a, at that. This is a sparkling grape. 
Wow. It's so wonderful. I hope everybody's had a wonderful year. Look at the little bubbles. Good and it's bad. Like yes, it's, it's just as good. We've made it here this far. We're almost into 220. 2020. 2020. 2020. Oh, right. wow. It's amazing. It's absolutely oh, let's amazing. Let's do this thing. Oh, wow. Happy New Year, Frank. sweetie. Happy pie. New Year. I love you, Frank. I love you, too. Oh, not bad. Nice book This, is, this is delicious. <laughs> Cheers, Happy everybody. New Year, Happy everybody. New Year. Thank I'm going you for back watching. Off screen. Bye okay, bye. thank you for joining me, Frank. That was wonderful. This is good. So, eating meat and drinking alcohol, all optional. You can have a good time without it. Okay, so my chips need to be turned. I can see they're getting crispy. Let's get those going. They are chips, so you do want them crispy, but we don't want them burnt. So, it really doesn't take that long to make your own homemade chips. But you don't want them soggy, so you want the oil to be just right where it's not burning them, but they're not soggy, so this is doing pretty good over here. Give that a nice toss, a roux. Oh, it smells delicious. Add a little chili powder to that. Stir my beans over here. Turn them up just a little bit. Okay, now I've got my paper towel, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of my chips over there. Nothing like making your own chips. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to Girls Gone Vegan. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you for tuning in. I am making vegan fajitas, vegan fajita salad, and homemade chips with salsa. So right now I'm working on the chips over here. I've got some whole beans heating up, and I've got my chips cooking. And then we're gonna uh, get the get some more chips going here. How are you doing tonight? I hope you've had a great year. I hope everything's going good for you. Please share these videos with anybody who you think might enjoy them. Please share my videos. And I have a YouTube channel, so go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. All my cooking shows are there also at Steph Girls Gone Vegan with Stephanie Ann Hare. So right now I've got my bell peppers, onions, and I've got red bell pepper green bell pepper, purple onion, sauteing. I've got my chips going. And I'm going to add some mushrooms in just a second. First, I'm going to cut up, I'm, I'm cutting up tortillas for my chips. Small little ones. It's fun to make your own chips. It can be really super simple. And it's a, a, this is a, a fajita salad. So that's nice to have. Okay, so we've got that going. We've got some more of those cut up. Let's cut up a little bit more. So simple to make your own chips, and then you can buy good tortillas and do it. Okay, so now I'm going to cut up some mushrooms to put into the mixture. I'm going to cut them fairly thick here into the fajita. I'm going to use one pound, and then we're going to work on our salsa. I'm going to make um, a homemade salsa, and I'm going to make a guacamole. So, um, or actually, I'm just going to use sliced avocado. I'm kidding. Let's just sliced avocado. Fresh avocado. Great. Okay, getting the mushrooms in there. This is really a quick dish. If you watch Girls Gone Vegan before, my dishes are all a half hour. So, it's really nice. You can make a really delicious meal for your family in a half hour. And it can be full of nutrition and healthy and... It's a great thing to do is to substitute a couple of your meals per week. You don't have to eat vegan every day. You can mix it up and have some meat dinners and some vegetable dinners. It's not That's not the purpose. The purpose here is to teach you how to cook with vegetables with no animal products and add it to your basic life, your basic menus, your basic week, weekly dishes. I know I've worked in the restaurant business. I've had a catering business. I've done all this stuff. And it still gets boring on what am I going to cook for dinner. So the more you can come up with, 
the better. Okay, so now let's stir those. Let's stir this around. Oh, this is going great. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper to it. A little chili powder. We've got our chips going here pretty good. How's this happening? This is going good back here. Got some beans. Get this all mixed up pretty good. So now we will add some Himalayan pink ground salt to the fajita mix and pepper. I like a lot of pepper. I don't like to put a lot of salt because you can never go back. You make it too salty. You can always add more to each person can add their own salt. Just add a little bit for a nice flavor. And the idea about the fajitas is not to have the vegetables overcooked, but just to have them nicely sauteed, but not just cooked where they're just too much. Okay, so let's get these chips out of here. They're getting pretty crisp. I'm using coconut oil to cook my chips, and it works out just fine. I tend to use olive oil most of the time and a lot of things, but I use a lot of coconut oil too. And it works really good. So let's get the rest of our chips in here. Let's give that a stir. Give my beans a stir. Give everything a stir. Okay. So now we're going to start on salsa. And we're going to use, um, okay, where am I, where am I? Use a yellow onion. One yellow onion. We're going to use some cilantro and tomato. So I'm just cutting the ends off the onion and cutting the side to give it legs. That's what Rachel Ray taught me, you know, my good old friend Rachel. When I used to watch her cooking shows, I learned a couple things, tricks from her, and one of them is getting legs on your onion so that you can actually hold it while you're cutting it so it doesn't go slipping away from you. See, it's called legs. You give it a solid place there. So now I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm going to just cut it down in strips, cut it in half, then, and then, then I'm going to go right through the middle with my knife, and then I'm going to do it with this other one, I'm going to go right through the middle, then it's going to be a nice little diced, now I will cut up a little more. It doesn't have to be finely minced, but you want it to be minced. So you're just going to run your knife back and forth. Woo, the onions are getting to me. The onions are getting to me. And then run your onions back and forth. And now let's get a bowl to make this salsa in. So let's put our onions in here. I like them kind of big. It's okay. And then we're going to take our... Roma tomatoes are nice. Cut them into strips. Cut them, dice it up. They can be kind of chunky too. This is a chunky salsa. Run your knife through again. Whew, those onions are getting me. Do another one. Cut the ends off. Cut it in half. Then three or four strips. Dice it up. There's something therapeutic about dicing. Okay, let's check out your chips here. They're doing pretty good. Everything is going good here. Let's add a bit of chili powder to this. Give it a little Mexican flavor. A little chili powder is nice. Going to give it a beautiful aroma. And it's good for you to 
chilies are always good for you. Okay, so now let's get the these chips out of here. These are looking good. So that is enough chips. So we're going to push this aside. We're done with the chips. Let's turn that off. Let's put a little paper towel on top of that to drink, pat the oil off of the chips. Frank, how much time do we have? Nice. 8.30. Okay, so we're doing good. We've got lots of time. This is a very fast dish, so I can just slow down. I feel like I'm going too fast. So this is going to be Roma tomatoes. It's a homemade salsa. I like Roma tomatoes. They're very nice. They're very flavorful. And they, if you buy them yourself, you're not growing your tomatoes. You try and buy the, uh, the tomatoes on the vine and they're super expensive. So I find that the Roma tomatoes have a lot of flavor and they're very affordable. It's nasty. So I choose Roma tomatoes all the time and it's a very good choice. Okay, so we've got our onions. This, I'm making like a salsa fresca. I'm chopping the tomatoes. Let's put those up a little bit better. Then I am going to make guacamole. I knew I was. I was just kidding everybody. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead. Always massage your avocado. The, the skin is going to come off fast that way. Let's go ahead. Let's give this fajita a stir. It's looking good. This stuff's pretty much done. We can turn it way down. That is good. Yum. Everything's good there. The beans are coming along great. All right. We are doing good. So now, to make guacamole, very simple. So what we're going to do here, we've got our salsa fresco. We're doing two things at once with some of this. We're going to um, take a spoon. And just get the avocado out. Just take the avocado. I've already massaged my avocado. Take that out. And then we're going to mush it up. You can just take a, you can take a potato masher and mush it up and it's going to be really easy and great. I don't know about you, but I love avocado and, and the more, now you know that avocados are really the good thing to eat. It's okay to eat avocado. It's good to eat avocado. It's so good that you should be eating an avocado a day. I love it. My grandmother used to eat avocado toast and that's the one thing that I carry on that I picked up from her is avocado toast and who would have known now it's so trendy. All the restaurants are selling it for seven, eight dollars a toast with avocado on it, and it's super hip. But my grandma, Grandma Sissy, Ollie Schrader, she ate avocado toast before it was cool. I love it. Okay, so we're just going to put the avocado here into the dish. There we go. Then we're just going to grab some of the tomatoes and the onions that we have here, and we are going to mix it up. And this is just a simple guacamole. Very simple. Just add that. Little tomatoes and onions in it. And add that. And that is delish. Put a little salt and pepper in it. <clears throat> Lots of slamming things going on here. This is when you do your show live in your house. You just hear everything that goes on. The dogs are in and out. Everything's going on. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. Here's our guacamole. Here's our delicious guacamole. Guacamole is easy to make. A lot of people put sour cream and all this kind of stuff in it. You don't have to. And of course, you could add some delicious lime juice, lemon juice, citrus to it. But we're going to eat it right away so that's we don't have to worry about it browning. 
And we've got that going now. Let's get our cilantro. I've got some cilantro over here that I'm patting dry. I just rinse and I'm going to chop it up. I just rinse it off and I wrap it in a towel. Okay. Now I'm going to cut a bunch up. Cilantro, I'm going to add to both things. I'm going to add to three things here. I'm going to add cilantro to everything. So I'm going to chop it pretty good. I tell you, I, I hope you guys are eating good tonight. I know everybody eats all these really great dishes. For New Year's Eve and for New Year's Day, it's a big time to eat. So, this is a great salad that you can add. It tastes good, but it's actually really good for you too at the same time. So I'm going to add a big handful into my fajita mix, the cilantro. That's going to give it some really good flavor here. As we deglaze the pan, I turned it down. Now it's deglazing with all these delicious flavors that were uh, on the bottom here. That is looking good. How much more time, Frank? 2.53. Okay, we're getting close here. So now we're just going to add a little bit to the guacamole, but we're going to add the rest of it to the salsa fresca and I love to use my hands so I wash my hands a lot a lot a lot but I'm a hands-on cook I don't like the glove thing it's just I like getting my hands in right in the food that is beautiful so we're gonna add a little salt and pepper to that and I hope you really had a great year I hope you can uh, really focus on all the great things and not just if there was some bad things, but there's always some sort of lesson to be learned in this, uh, the things that were troubling to us. They're here to make you appreciate things more or be stronger, or there's always just usually a lesson. So try and find a lesson in everything. It usually helps a little bit, but not always. Some things are very hard to take. So I hopefully you have some good stuff you can take with you and you can reflect on. And as I said before, the fact that you are alive and you're still here is a huge part. Okay, so we're getting ready to assemble our salad. So I've got some super greens here. And so what I do is I'm going to top them with my whole pintos. So the first deal is we're going to top the super greens with hot delicious pinto beans. There's your delicious protein. And they're so good for you. Okay. So now, the next thing is we are going to put the fajita mix right on top. Right on top. And we're going to just load it up. Load that sucker up. This is a fajita salad. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And then, we're going to sprinkle some chips around. Sprinkle your chips around. And we're going to add, we're going to add some guacamole. And dinner is served. The guacamole is delicious. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. All right, look at this. This is delicious. This is a beautiful New Year's dinner that you won't feel guilty about. And this is going to be so satisfying. It's a hot meal. Fajita salad. You're going to love it. Start your new, new year out. I can't talk. Start That's your my new dinner. Year out I'm right. happy. Enjoy your life. Eat good. Eat fresh. I'm Stephanie Hare. Girls Gone Vegan with Stephanie Hare. I will see you again next week. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Bye.